Hey everyone, Diogo Marquez here. I hope you are having a great day today. Today we did another sale and the digital marketing agency that is working with us, they seem to be, to be providing some quality leads. It's like 90% of them don't work, but you have like that 10%, like some of them, like it's like you need to think about it and you get pissed because you know you could do better when you are doing your job at the phone but uh, you then you are able to close someone so i just wanted to provide you this this insight which is if now you are working through this pandemic it is possible for you as a uh, life insurance agent to be working from home but you need a consistent source of leads and this is where the problem begins because i from my end i practice to to be the very best salesperson that i can be I practice to become the very best salesperson that I can be, but you can't sell anything unless you have leads to call to people. So it's one thing to be calling people, like cold calling people and try to pitch a product. It's, it's not that you can't do it because you can. I've done it before several times and you can do it, but it's harder. It takes much more energy from you. When you have someone that already expressed some level of interest regarding some type of product that is related to your specific niche in a specific area, which is life insurance, so it's easier because you can have a, a motive to call that people and say you ask for this mortgage protection i have a, a bunch of carriers this is the prices that we have which one do we, would you rather uh, allow us to go through with it so it's a different pitch than like coming out of the blue right so i did this today it wasn't a large contract but it was around 500 and 550 something a year it's not a lot like in mortgage protection and you get paid up front 50% in commission and you get a recurring basis 20%. So what this means is that every time that guy pays a premium, you get a 20% off of it. You might say, well, 500 bucks a year, it's not much money. You're right. But you need to look at this from a, a, a producer's pr perspective. And what I mean by this is that you are producing contracts every day, right? So you are doing all your work, like presenting your, your products, like promoting yourself as hell in order for people to start coming to you or you have marketing agency bringing you leads, whatever the thing that is working for you. And you are like consistency, it's, it's the key here because you are like consistently like inserting new, new, new customers, right? In time, this starts to compound. Two, year, two days ago, we, and you saw the video, I put a guy in that is paying one, it's 1,200 a month. So I get paid 50% off of that for the first payment, which will be in like in 15 days or something. And then every single year I get, it's like, I think, well, let me see the math. It's, let me see. It's 20% plus 15% because he has an additional coverage. So in, essentially I get 30%, 35% actually from the premium that he's paying. So this was two days ago right and today i have another guy that is like 500 bucks and tomorrow probably i have some guys like 2000 bucks and the next day you see see what i mean as long as you be, be consistent and producing this this be this beats real estate like every day of the week and the reason for it is that as long as the guy keeps paying the premium you keep getting paid so this is a compounding thing this is really powerful and i wanted to share this with you because this is all about consistency you have to and I've learned this through the, like, I lost a bunch of years in my life because of this. You have to stop doing everything else. Seriously, it's like, it's not that it's not important. It is, if in your mind you attribute that task as to be, like, important. But you need to focus, like, all your energy into solving the most important thing. And at this point, what I'm doing is I'm focusing on getting new lead sources, and this is coming from people that like it's a cost per lead basis. So I'm trying to look for more digital marketing agencies here. It's hard actually because Portugal is very it's a very close country, and they're not a lot, there's not lots of um, companies that do this. I found one that is like working, like that's okay. They are doing their their job, and we are adjusting things. So that's fine. And we are working on to bringing in at least like one or two more. And it, this starts to make sense because think about it. I started off paying 500 bucks to this company and they told me that they would bringing me they would be bringing me leads at a, a 10 a 10 10 euro per lead. So if I have a premium that the guy is paying me like the first guy that paid me was like 2000 bucks and I get paid 50%, right? I already have the thing covered, see? So I can reamp 
what I'm paying to that lead source provider even more money, right? Because I already have my basis covered. This is how you have to look at things. It's like you are in the first week and the guy's already provided you, like it, you, you start looking at the lead flow. You start looking at the guys there to calling. It's like, this is garbage, this is garbage. They don't answer. So it's like out of 10, you get like four, right? But out of those four, you have like two people one is on you because you weren't needed, you didn't close them, but the other one you did close, right? So that one already covered the expenses that you would be having with the, this company that is providing you leads. And you are, even you didn't finish the first week yet, right? So this is important. So as long as you keep doing this, after a while, you are looking at things and say, okay, for this month, I already have the marketing agency covered. So I'm looking for the rest of the, the expenses that I have at home. So I have this this amount of money, like for food, rent, and all that, in my specific case, is around three thousand. That's the that's the amount that I need, like the cost of living, essentially. So I'm on my first week. I already covered the marketing agency and still have some cash left. And like the third day, I didn't close anything yesterday. Like I was really pissed, but today I did close one, right? And I'm getting paid up front. So from this uh, five hundred and something bucks they are going to pay me 250. So there's another 250. So it's like compounding, right? And you still have like 15 days more. So I have time. And this is what I wanted to share with you guys. It's important for you to understand that as soon as you figure what is it that you want, you block out everything else. This is the first thing. In my specific case, it's life insurance and I wanted to learn like re everything regarding finance and insurance. That's the thing that I want to learn more about. It's different when you are addressing someone and you know your product well. They see you differently. They see you as a salesperson. You're not like a technical dude, but they, they see you as someone that knows the product. It's, it's like, it's really powerful because you are not coming out as like someone like is looking low, it doesn't know anything. It's like you're smiling, you know what the product, look them in the eye, but you know exactly what you're talking about. This is really powerful because they see you as a figure of authority. Even if you like knew the product, but you were like looking down and all like, hunched and all that stuff, they, they were like, oh, man, what the hell is this guy? But now they see you smiling, they see you looking in the eye and you see, you're talking about mortgage protection and in, in interest rates, it's like it's telling them things that they see you as someone that knows what they are talking about. So it's a transferable thing regarding confidence. They transfer their confidence to you. They start deferring things to you, asking you to, to answer questions that they have. This is really important. So it's important for you to Develop your sales skills, but on the other hand, uh, know your products well. This is really powerful. So this is what I'm doing. So this is the first thing. You focus on what, it, what is it that you want and don't do anything else. That's it. You don't have enough time in your life. You have to focus in to becoming the very best person in whatever the field that you, you choose. Playing guitar or singing or architecture, whatever the thing is. My specific case is being a great salesperson specifically in life insurance. The second thing is, if you are great at sales and you understand that you need to deal with people, that's your strength, you need someone to provide you leads. That's the thing. You still work on it and I try to, to learn because it's sales. It's, it's a different approach. It's like marketing a thing, but in like in copywriting or in an ad, it's a different thing, but it's like it's sales related. So it's important for you to know like the basics, how the thing works. And eventually I would get the lead cost uh, lower trying to do that thing by myself. But until that happens, it's important for you to have lead providers because uh, otherwise you're screwed. It's uh, how in the hell are you going to sell something to someone if you don't have like someone to talk to? And I've been through this, it's horrible. It's like you wake up, like you meditate, you do all, all the good stuff and read and learn and like open mind and all that stuff. But then you get in a car, right? Where are you, go where are you going? See what I mean? So you need places to go, right? So you need to end your day like I did today regarding like having people to call to the next day. I still don't have new, lead, new leads coming in for tomorrow. So what I did was I went on LinkedIn. It's like my plan B. I went on LinkedIn and like uh, click like, like open 100 tabs or more uh, with people. And what I will do is like filter out the ones that have their cell phone number there and I'll start cold calling them in the morning. Obviously I would give priority to fresh new leads that come in, but I can't like spend my day waiting for leads to come in. You can't do that. You need to have the store mentality. Remember the book? Actually, it's here. If you don't have it yet, 
go at my BYU digital, byudigital.com slash book. You can grab a, a, a copy of the book right there. And there's a chapter there, there in this book that talks about specifically about this. There, there was one time that was like flat broke. And I went to this, we have here, it's called Ping Dos. And in like in US, it's equivalent to Walmart. It's like the, those big retail shops. And I was pissed because I wasn't fully aware how wealth works. And wealth essentially works by people that like get in the store. That's the first thing, right? People get in there, right? The, the simple fact of people already getting in there, this is really powerful because they, they are getting in there with a motive to buy something, right? And that's the thing. And then essentially inside, it's a bunch of like shelves with like food products, right? And then you have like these cashiers, like a bunch of them, and people get out of there with the products, right? And they pay for them. So what's left out of paying like the suppliers and like the cost of like the, the whole debt service providing like, like all the stuff that the company needs like to like suppliers and banks and, and employees and all that stuff, what remains the net income, right? It's their margins. The problem with those, usually those retail stores is like, it's a, it's a cost attack. It's like there, it's like straight line. It's like cost of tomatoes, it's like goes down one cent, everything, everyone goes crazy and they lose money. So that's the problem with them. They need lots of stores to like, to keep the thing at float because they have like really low margins. That's their business, right? This business, it's about having deal flow, the same thing. And when you have deal flow, you have margins because the carriers, at least here in Portugal, I don't know the model in your country, but here they keep paying you. So as long as the guy keeps paying the mortgage protection, because it's like the banks don't care about them. It's a irre irrevocable uh, beneficiary. They essentially are looking at the dude and saying, I would only be providing you this debt service if you uh, have a in life insurance, because if you die, right, it's a term insurance. If you die, right, we get paid by the insurance company. So that's where you come in because there wouldn't be anything working there unless you brought in the leave. So this is really powerful. And you get paid, like you don't do anything really out of that customer. That's like, it's done, right? Next year, you keep getting paid as long as you keep the customer relationship. This is why I emphasize so much keeping people close to you. So this is all about that. The first step, this is what I didn't understand when I was like flat broke. You need to focus on getting people. That's the that's like basis, like it's the most important thing really. And then the second thing you do, second and third actually, is like practice your sales skills so you can address that. I need to think about it. I need to speak with my wife and my dog and my Martian cat and all that, that, that crap. And know about your product. When you have this thing like coming through, you'll start seeing that you'll be ahead of people because people don't practice. People don't practice sales. People don't practice uh, body language. People don't practice dealing with objections. When you start to close like on a regular basis, you start to become a killer because you know what you're doing. It's not luck, right? I keep practicing. It's I'll, there's a lot of stuff that actually when I, see, I will see this video later after I edit it and I will be like, oh my God, how in the hell like, I'm talking like this. I keep improving because I see things that I want to improve, right? It's the same thing. As long as you focus and I've, it's like life lesson here, seriously. It's like the guy that told me that millionaire that's like, close by, I went there right up, it's like straight up and said, listen, I'm broke. I, I don't want any money. I just want like 10 minutes of your time. Like explain shit to me because I really, I really want to get this right. And I'm like failing. It's like, like, what is it that I'm doing wrong? And he told me, it's like ego and focus on one thing. That's it. You can't do everything. So you need to focus on the one thing, the very one thing that if you start focusing on just doing that one thing, everything else starts to come to place. And that's easier said than done. But what I did was after I understood that like on a general basis, and I was like, yeah, great. Like, yeah, focus and not ego, but I'm still broke. So in the hell am I going to get money to eat? But you need to focus. That's it. So what I did was I looked at the benchmark. And the second thing is the resources that I had at that time that allowed me to what is the one thing that I have to do with the current resources that I have that can allow me to like to have some money right now? This is the question that you have to answer for yourself. I can't answer that for you 
what I can tell you is what I did. And I was at home and I started sending like a bunch of resumes. Essentially, that's what I did. And it was horrible because no one wants to hire an entrepreneur that failed. It is a, a, a strange thing when you like uh, have a company that are like 15 people there and I had jobs like uh, that I got even more contractors there and I had like 40 or 50 people there. And then you're like in front of some girl is like 19 in front of McDonald's. Like uh, this is a true story. She didn't hide me. She, she was like, she had that look in their face like, why, why are you doing here? Because under normal circumstances, she would be the one asking you for a job, right? And now you're there and they see you as an entrepreneur and they don't hire you, that's it. So if you are, you gotta look at your LinkedIn profile, seriously. If you like someone that likes one year here, one year there, one year here, and one year there, you're a salesperson, you're a generalist and you're broke. And the only way for you to get out of there like to actually build something of value is start looking at people on LinkedIn that have profiles by like doing things like for 50 years and not doing anything else. See the, see the difference here? Howard Marks, a billionaire, he told me he has been doing this for 50 years. I have people here, the same thing. Like my mentor, like in MetLife, where I'm with one, one of the carriers that I work with, he has been doing this for like for three or four years. This is insane. Just life insurance, right? So he's focused, right? Super focused. If you are unfocused, this is the same thing that, that, that millionaire told me. Millionaire several times over actually. He's like almost a billionaire, I think, by now. And he told me, it's like, if you are not focused, you need to start having focused people around you to see how they think, to see how they approach things. So you ask them questions. And this is what I did. I started asking these people questions. And I can honestly tell you that the best like thing they told me was when I started hearing from these people saying, you are a focused person. So now you're like, okay, I'm on the right track, I think, because I, I now have focused people telling me like, like the major like screw up generalist guy that went all, all over the board. Now they're telling me you're focused, that you are on the right track especially when you are talking with someone that does this for a living. So in the beginning, it will be strange because you are not used to it. You got to remember the thing that Warren Buffett said. It's like you're not accustomed to it. It's like the chains and all that. They have this, this same saying that the guy says, but it's like that. It's true. It's like you are accustomed to do things in a certain way. But if it's not working, you need to pause, right? And you start, need to start doing things in a different way. And a different way of doing things is looking at focused people, because if you are unfocused and you come to this realization that the major flaw in your approach is to being unfocused, because it's one of your strengths, like you, you are an idea guy, like you don't finish stuff, but you have come up with lots of ideas. You have to start implementing things. So you need to do things in a way that can allow you to not be stressed out when you are on implementation mode. And what has been working for me is some things, sometimes I, I, I just ask myself, seriously, I, like, how could I do things in a way that I, like, if I had like this focused guy here, how would he be doing things? I was just like sitting like right next to him, right? And I was like, how would he be doing things? So you see like, well, he probably do, didn't have like that much stuff going on, just one or two things, right? And then like, keep doing the same thing. It's like, because it's a focused behavior, it's just doing one thing. So I started thinking about, okay, I'm a sales guy. I have leads, so let's call the leads first, just calling, see what I mean? And now I don't have any leads, so what is it that I can do that is like, can be like the closest, get me closest to money as possible and me doing just that one activity a day, like through the rest of my day, because you start getting tired like in the middle of the afternoon, you start getting tired, right? And essentially it's like, okay, I need to be calling people. So who can I call who, who, people that I can call to? And like, okay, LinkedIn list. So, but you can't like uh, stop the thing in the middle of the day and start open, opening LinkedIn tabs. I did that today and it was horrible because I need to stop my day. So I did this today and tomorrow when I come up here, it just open call, open call, open call, that's it. I will go through all the list. I'll get a bunch of no's, I'll get some maybes, I'll get some yeses probably. 
And in the middle, throughout the day, I'll get the new leads that I need, like for tomorrow. This is not per perfect. And this is what I wanted to share with you guys. There's not, perfection doesn't exist. This, this is horrible. You need to be, keep trying and pushing through. But you need to focus on the very one activity that can get you closer to money. And this is what I wanted to share with you guys. It's like, there's a lot of stuff that come into your day and you need to close yourself to that because tomorrow some guy's gonna call you, right? Why are you picking up the phone? See what I mean? It's like, you're gonna get some emails from some random guy, right? Why are you answering, right? First things first. If you have the focused guy like next to you, think about it. Like forget about yourself, think about it. How would that guy like deal with the situation if he's focused? The most focused person ever lived, right? Probably you would have like one open tab, right? And just do the one activity because you're focused, right? So when you reckon that the major flaw in your character is because since you are so strong at being creative, you lack the structure. If you're failing, you need to focus more on structure now because you're already creative, right? You, you can keep working on the creativity. That's fine. Like work on your scripts, like develop your scripts, like come up with new ways of becoming even a better salesperson. That's, that's fine. But you need structure because otherwise you, you're getting older. It's like I'm 40 now, right? Every single day I'm closer to 41. Right. Eventually I'll be 50 and 60 and then eventually I'll die. Right. So what is it that you want out of life? Right. So if you haven't built anything meaningful, that's because you're not focused. That's it. And they like, don't like kick yourself in the butt too much. Right. It just become aware of it. That's the first step. And then start building it like being focused. That's the main thing. I learned from the like Portuguese wealthiest person. Like, it wasn't an honor really to have that the guy like sitting like, like in a parking bench. I, I just saw the guy. I went there and presented myself. and started talking, and we had this wonderful conversation. He's like looking at me. Oh, who is it that you? Because I know you. I've studied you. I know exactly who you are. So like, can I just sit and like just have a pleasant conversation? He's like, sure. We started talking, and he told me it's like. You're too young. Imagine I'm I'm like 40, and he's telling me, and he's like in his late 70s. He's like you young. So he's like because he ended up like he, he died. I think like two years after or something. I don't want to mess this up. But it was something like that. I, I I sat with them, and I heard like from the news that he died like a couple of years after. It's not too much, like two or three years or even less. I think. So it was an honor. So it was at the end of this end of his life. His companies, like its largest revenue producing companies here in Portugal, it's like billions and billions and billions. It's like insane. And he, his paycheck is 160 million cash free dividends. Let's let that thing uh, sink in for a minute. 160 million in quarterly dividends. Like every single quarter you get 40 million, right? Like in a country with 10 million people where the average like wage is 600 bucks. He's getting 40 million every quarter, see? And he's telling me like, how could I deal with my life better? And he told me, you have to like do things like it needs to be sustainable. You need to have resources to cover what you're doing. So in my specific case, when I'm approaching things now, I like, okay, I'm having this risk of 500 bucks with this company, but if the con average contracts are around 2,500, right? Even if I have one like today, it was like 500 bucks, I'm still getting paid like 50%. So the risk is low and it's a cost per lead basis, right? So get one of these companies, right? Focus on hiring lots of, these companies, right? You keep improving your skills as a salesperson, that's fine, but you need to have leads every day. You don't have time to like get the thing going just by yourself. It's, it's like, it's, it will take too long. Don't believe those idiots out there, like online marketers telling you that's like, oh, I spend, uh, one thing that those guys say is like, I spent 200,000 and something like in Facebook leads. They didn't spend anything like that, like a bunch of liars. 
they probably spend like five bucks a day, like for like a couple of months and spend like three or four grand and that's it. So focus just on learning, like seeing what works and what doesn't. And then eventually you'll start looking at things and knowing how to do it by yourself. And until you do, you need to have people that are already doing it. They're already focused on bringing leads for insurance people, right? Because they're already doing it, right? They have this dashboard. I have it here actually somewhere. Oh, I don't have it here. It's like, it's like a dashboard they provide and they have like name, like cell phone and then email and what is it that they want. So I go to like to my simulators here with, uh, with those carriers and then I provide them the cost and say, listen, I'm a broker. I'm a broker. I, you, I do life insurance. You ask for this mortgage protection. This is the capital. This is the interest rate. This is all a yada, yada, yada. And then what is it that you want now? Like in, you close the people, right? So you get paid. So, but this could could only happen because I have people bringing me leads. The other version of this day would be me trying to do this by myself. I would probably get like one guy, right? Or none for months in a row. So don't do that. Keep working on your site to build backlinks. Keep working on your social media skills to develop your social media intelligence to understand how that works. So sorry, so you can bring in new leads by yourself and bring in the, the cost per lead lower because I know you could get leads like for three, four, five bucks, maybe. So I'm paying 10 now, that's okay for now because it's a time issue. They're already bringing me leads. So learn about this, it's really important. Remember the store mentality like I get from this book. It's like all devoted to getting your shit right and about the store mentality. And the store mentality is that one day that I went to one of the, his stores, that billionaire, and I look at it and say, this is just real estate, a bunch of shelves with a bunch of food here, cashiers and people coming in, like they go there, they get the thing, they pay, and that's it. And the guy keeps a margin, that's it. And they have a bunch of stores. So like one store multiplied by I don't know, it's like 1500 or something like in this country. It's like many billions over. That's it. That's a math. That's it. And it keeps a margin from what is it that they are paying the, to sustain the business. The thing here is the same thing. They don't know about you. Who are you? Right? There are people at this exact same time looking for final expense or Medicare or life insurance if it's a key person. Whatever the figure is, they're looking for it. So you need to find them, right? And need to find them fast because those are the ones that would be paying your rent this month, right? And the beauty, beautiful thing about life insurance is that when they keep, as long as they keep paying the premiums, you keep getting paid, right? So this is a wonderful business. This beats real estate every single day of the week, right? I would only be doing real estate when it's like an investment fund that I'm interested, in, right? Because the fees stay there. Right. So it's like, but first you need to develop like your first far, part of the business. And that's like cover your balance sheet, get your balance sheet, right? Get your net worth, right? Develop your sales skills, have leads coming in and learn how to deal with those leads. Like the objections that I need to think about it. I need to talk with my wife. I don't make a rash decision. You need to know the stuff by heart and know how to deal with these people and be super critical about how you are dealing with people because you probably are not aware of how you are speaking with people unless you see yourself recorded. And this is something new that I come up with. See, I'm creative. I started recording myself and throughout my day, I was like, what the hell? Why in the world am I speaking with this guy like this? It's like I'm dying or something. What the hell? See, and people are, they are, creating this avatar person of when they are hearing you. So it's important for you to uh, like understand that they, they, they are not seeing you, right? So they will only be buying if what they are hearing and how they are hearing you is like, the thing is like connecting, right? The, if there's a throw off because you're tired, if you are exhausted, if you're like, you forgot about uh, body language, you forgot about all that stuff, you just exhausted and just want to get the thing through, you won't. So you need to be focused, that's it. So you get like rest in the middle of the day. Some, sometimes I do that, I, I, it's strange, it's like go to sleep at one o'clock. 
like for one hour or something, you you will wake up better, like feeling more like, it's like you have two days, you you wake up at five o'clock in the morning, right? So it's like at noon, it's like you're already seven or eight hours in, right? It's like, then you have your second part of the day until like 11 o'clock at night, right? So you have two days in one, right? So if you're already aware of this, it's just about you focusing on doing that one activity. And in my specific case, I would love to have more qualified leads coming in. I w I'm keep working on it. I keep working on the site, keep working on the backlinks and all that stuff. But I have to understand that for now, I don't have that yet. So I need to focus on who is it that I can bring in that can solve this problem. So I have already one marketing agency that is bringing me leads. I'm already working on it by my own, like to try to understand the process better with my small bets. And I'm trying to hire more people like that. I like send like contacts, I call people, I send more emails to find new agencies to bring in more leads. So eventually I'll get like one or more. And then you have like, it's like, no, I have like two or three guys now and my thing is working, right? It's a different, different thing, but you have to keep developing it. It's like, look at your life, like from the future to the, to back, to the, to the, to the past, like that billionaire was looking to me and saying, you're too young because you already knew, probably because he was very smart, he was going to die any day soon, right? Because he was sick, he had cancer, right? But you're now like in your thirties, late thirties, in your forties, and like, I'm old. No, you're not. Man. You are at your prime. They wish they would be at your age because they will still have more like 30 or 40 years to the future, right? You come to this realization that you need to focus and develop something meaningful. And it can only happen if you have consistent days because every single day that you make a sale, right? You get closer to your objective. I have this really large objective that is like my life's mission. I want to become a billionaire. I want to become someone that is very respected for my peers, someone that knows what he's doing, see, people that see me as someone that knows what he's talking about and has built something meaningful. But one thing is about thinking about it. The other thing is what is it that you are doing that can allow you to get there? And the only thing really is having your perfect day every day. So. If part of your perfect day is like making a specific sales amount, right? You have to do it. And the only way for you to do that specific amount of sales is having qualified leads to talk to. Because think about it. Today I talked with around, I think 10 or 12 people, something like that. And I think pretty much half of them like didn't answer the phone. So were like garbage leads. I got like, out of the, the remaining six, it was like three or four, they were like pretty much tourists. They were like like 100 bucks mortgage protection a year. And they were like, oh, I don't know. Eh, 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 eh. So yeah. And then you get one guy, like 500 bucks, right? It's not bad. Two days ago, I had one guy that pay like 3,000 or 4,000 4, or something like that, right? It was like, when I got the guy on the phone, he was like, Sure, let's do this now. See, think about your day, just for a second, and only having people like that to call to. That's like perfection, right? Because if you make five, five calls, right, you just made five grand, right? If the guy's paying like 4,000, it's like 20,000, it's like half, it's like, actually, no, it's 10 grand, right? It's like. Just made 10 grand in one day, right? 10 grand in one day times 30, that's 300 grand, right? It's a lot of money. Why? Because you are speaking with qualified people, right? And you know how to speak and you know how you convey your message. I didn't see the guy. He doesn't know me from, from Adam, but I sounded it in a way that like, it made sense for him, see? So it's all about qualified people and very wealthy people have qualified people coming in, right? They have stores in the right place. They have marketing strategies to get people there, right? They know how to protect themselves from competition so that they, the customers keep, keep going there. That's their thing. In my specific business, what can allow me to, to persevere is to become even better at dealing with people, be, uh, being better at sales being more qualified when I'm speaking with them, they don't feel stressed and feel anything. You see like sharp as a tech, he knows what he's talking about. It's like the guy is like, 
I like, I like what I'm hearing. The guy is a problem solver. They will thank you in the end, right? They give you the bank details and they will thank you in the end, right? Because it, so if you have qualified people, they will solve your problem. The one thing that is stopping you from moving forward is essentially twofold. The first one is you deciding what is it that you want out of life. That's the first thing. Like, as soon as you decide what is it that you want to do, it's like real estate or it's life insurance or whatever the thing might be, right? Be the greatest at it. Like, it's like there's no other way. You need to be known for what you do. And you can only be known for doing something well if you just do one thing right. If you hear someone or if you are like, if this is your flaw right now, you're saying I sell cars, I sell this and I sell that and I sell that, that's not going to work. I promise you, and I'm 40 now, I have learned that like the hard way, that's not going to work. Do one thing right and make sure, make them sure you become very well known like in the world, like for the guy that does that one thing, the very best guitar player, like metal the very best rapper, the very best architect, you get paid an enormous amount of money because you're the greatest, because people see you as the greatest at what you do. That's it. And in order for that to happen, it's marketing, really. It's like promotion, promotion, promotion. You need to promote the hell out of what you're doing. I see people actually, and this is something actually kind of bothers me in, in a sense, but it's... It must happen and it's a, a consequence. There are people out there like promoting themselves as the greatest salesperson ever and they're not that great. There are people out there promoting themselves as great online marketers and they're not that great. What they are very great at is they're just self-promoting. That's the one thing that they are like very top-notch at it. So you'll see something sometimes that is like Companies, and you see this a lot happening every, everywhere. It's like companies like have a bunch of customers and they're not that great, but they are great at promoting themselves. And this is something that we have to realize. It's like all your focus is about promotion. That's it. Promote, 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 promote. Like when you start people coming in, start having people coming in and start people seeing you as a figure of authority, it makes it easier. When you don't have that, right? In the, tough, in the tough spot, because it's like 10 runners in the middle or in the bottom. I, no, it doesn't mean that you won't win, but it's like no one, the, the cameras are not looking at you, right? So you need to keep building that momentum. It's like every single day you do a post, every single day you make a video, just like this, right? I couldn't care less about great presentations now. It's just about sharing valuable advice. And I, I really want you to get valuable advice on this because I'm speaking like, I'm spilling my heart out here. here. Like even like sometimes I do bad English sometimes. It's like as long as you get the message, like we're cool, dude. It's like focus. That's it. It's one thing. Like if I if I went back like to my younger twenties, because I my family was pretty much bullshit. I would just tell myself, believe in yourself. Go to finance. That's what I would do. Go to finance. Forget everything else and just go to the U.S. That's it. That's what I would have done if it was earlier. Like I would like probably leave home like earlier, just run away and just go directly like as an alien to the U.S. That's probably how I should have done that. But now, since what I'm here now, I'm still working on developing my company in the U.S. Already establishing the corporation and all that. I'm still working on the life insurance. At this day, I'm only, only fi almost finishing that. So eventually, I will be there. Right? That's it. So I'm a life insurance agent. I'm working on developing my agency here and then opening a filial in the US. That's my life mission. I want to develop my sales operation because eventually one day I'll have my sales, I'll sell my sales team like, like a large one and that will allow me to be like, carry a, be an insurance company. That's my life dream and eventually have an arm. It's an investment arm. It's just real estate. That's my, my life mission. So it's like, Life insurance, like sales every single day, but now the system is multiplied because it's just not me doing that. And then having an investment arm, which is like the investment side of my business. That's what I want. So, but in order for that to happen, I just come to this realization because I, it's, it's funny, when you are focused and you know what you want and you're seeing the steps, it's just a mount, like hit and miss, that's it. 
because you're, you're not like scattered all over the place. You already know what needs to be happening. It makes it easier for you to make decisions and not losing any money. So I'm now like, okay, I need leads. So who is it that I can call that I can see, see me praying? Who is it that I can call that I, I can get these leads coming in? So I need to find marketing agencies. That's it. And when they start getting leads, people are that, 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 like that guy, when the guy closes, I will ask him for referrals, right? Because the dude probably has friends, right? So like more 4,000 people, 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 right? You, you know what I mean? It was like 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 10 grand, right? 10 grand divided by 50, which is my, my margin with the insurance company, it just made 5,000, 5, right? In one single day. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's like, dude, you have like almost two months covered, right? So when you start having the thing like getting your like cushion, like uh, like a war chest, like with money, you're more like, okay, the thing starts working. I can make like push some money here, push some money there, like keep developing the operations. And since now I'm doing things on a sustainable basis, which is I'm not opening stores and like, like pissing a lot of money like I did last time, it's different now because just looking for a different perspective of doing things. So this is what I have learned so far. And I just wanted to share with this with you guys. And I just really want you to succeed because economies become better when people like you understand these messages from people that failed before you. So you can learn from my mistakes and from other people's mistakes. So you can like understand how like to be like a better helmsman. So like the shift, uh, the ship, like shifting the thing like left and right to get the thing like going to the right place. And that's the thing It's like focus, that's it. And get a marketing agency to bring, start bringing you leads. That's the one thing you need to focus about. It's the most important thing. I learned that from Grant Cardone actually. It's like, I, the first time I was like, hmm, this is interesting. And I started thinking about it, I think the guy's right. Marketing beats the hell out of sales. It's more important. When you start having marketing, like on a consistent basis, the quality of your salespeople, they don't need to be that good actually. Because the, the marketing people, like the leads are so qualified. It's like, you're taking an, you're like an order taker essentially. It's like this, 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 this and that, this, pay. That's it. It's different when they're like, I need to think about it. They're like pushing the thing a little bit, right? That's not the case when you're like a good marketer because you are bringing in quality sales leads. So that's, that's the thing. You need to focus on bringing quality leads. Learn this. It just I I want to like re-emphasize this. I seriously want to re-emphasize this. Focus on getting qualified leads in front of you. That's it. Forget about the crappy people at the coffee shop. Forget about losers. Forget about broke people. You need to be in front of people with resources. But you need to know how to speak with them. And they need to see you as a figure of authority in regarding what you are saying. And this comes in twofold. The first thing is the way that you are speaking, the way that you're presenting yourself, how you carry yourself. This is the first thing. First thing. And the second, I need to start speaking slower. And the second one is regarding the knowledge that you have regarding your product. Because they will start asking you questions and you know when you know how to answer these questions like interest rates and like you know what you're talking about and you clearly show them that you know how you're talking about. It's just not like it's not like you're trying to like show yourself like a Brienne person. They like no, they like no the dude actually knows what he's talking about. They like, okay, he this is a serious contender. This is a player, right? That's it. And when you start knowing how to deal with these people and you close them, then that's time, there's a time like to ask them for referrals. And when they start opening up their world to you and they won't open the world, like everything like, like spread, spread eagle. It was like, it's like a couple of leads and you call them like and do the same service. Then you start getting, building momentum. And that's where my mentor, where he like flourished because this is how he's, he's making that amount of money every single month because he just is working on a qualified leads. And since it's that focused and that's like focused and determined to, to getting like quality results, people start seeing that. Right? So that's the thing. This is one I wanted to share with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed something from this one. If you like more of these videos, like low quality videos and just some guy like rambling and just trying to help you out without any like flashy designing thingies, just like throw some comments below and say that you liked the video in any way and I'll keep making more videos like this. Start 
recording your journey, start to understand that you you won't be here permanently. So you need to decide once and for all what is it that you want. And as soon as you understand that, you need to start focusing on getting qualified leads for you to sell the product. It doesn't need to be your product. I'm selling life insurance. It's not my product. So what I've doing is, I've been doing is learning like every single fucking detail regarding that product. So in the way that when I'm presenting that to people, they're like, they can't even come up with anything else because they understand clearly that it, they are in front of someone that knows exactly what is it they are talking about. They are happy because they are not talking with a generalist. They're talking with someone that is like showing them this is what you need to do. And they, you don't need to say that. They, they feel it in, inside. So learning about a product and develop your sales skills, develop your sales abilities, learning about body language, micro expressions, understanding where people are really coming from because they are like throwing things like to push the thing back. Why is it, right? Doesn't, mean, doesn't make any sense, right? Why is it that some guy types in their personal details in a mortgage protection calculator and then he needs to think about it because he has other priorities? Is the guy looking for getting a sandwich instead? Is just just looking? Are you kidding me? No, you just you missed something. That's why he pushed back. Cause like I don't know. So you need to understand how to like convey the thing. I'll give you an example. Actually, before we finish the video, I'll give you an example. Today, this guy told me. It was like, oh, uh, how how was the conversation going? He's like. I told me the, the, the pitch, I told him the pitch, and I was already expecting the no and I need to think about it. Man. And he told me, oh, I need to, I'll see that later, I need to speak with my wife, some sort of that objection, some objection like that. And I told me, just out of curiosity, what would your wife's objection would be? You think your wife's objections would be? And he stopped and he like needed to think to say something. And he told me, like, in a way that she was the one answering me back, but that's his objection, not hers. So he told me, oh, it's because I don't understand this, like, this, uh, this extra coverage. It was like a specific question regarding the policy. And I explained him, but I didn't explain that to him. I explained that to his wife, and his wife wasn't there. That's his question, not his wife. But I was explaining, I would tell your wife this. And then like you explain the whole thing, right? And you keep and you come back to the presentation and you're like, I need your bank details here. And then you shut up. Don't say a word. Seriously. Bank details plus more text, you fuck everything up. Seriously, it's like what's your not bank number account? And then you wait. That's it. And you're like but I don't want. I don't want to carry. The, I don't want to pay this now. You're not paying me now. Like you don't pay me anything. It's the insurance companies that pay me in thirty days. You want to postpone this for sixty days? That's fine. What's your bank number? Do you know what I mean? It's like you can cancel everything, right? But you don't tell them that. Just sure. You don't, we're just taking care of paperwork. What is the date? The the date and the month that you want the first debit to, for like the bank to go there and get the money out of your account. What's the day? And shut up. It's like, oh, I get paid at like uh, at 15, like 15, right? This month or next month? And you shut up. Like, oh, next month. What's your bank number? See what I mean? That's it. You need to learn how to convey, because that's the thing. If you have the qualified lead in front of you, right? If you don't know the product and you don't to deal with objections, you're fucking everything up because this one is right. So it's like money coming in, like the lead, qualified lead, right? You know the product, you know the product well, you're a figure of authority, so you need to study the product every day, right? Write an article, write a blog post. That's the second thing. So when people are talking with you, you have the knowledge, but you need to know how to present the knowledge and you need to know how to speak with people. It's like in two folds. On the one hand, it's like you. On, on the other hand, it's how, how when they throw you objections, you know how to deal with them. Then you start to become a pro. No one does this. So lead, 
knowing the product and knowing and knowing how to deal with people and this comes with twofold you and the person i just wanted to share this with you guys drop some comments below and i'll see you in the next one be great nothing else please